Hi and welcome to Glamlo Connects Hair Studio once again guys. We are back back with another video. Another video to show you how to do different hairstyle. I think this is something we've not done and I'd like to take you through the process of doing spring twists. Guys, I know you've heard about spring twists. Spring twists are one of the most um I'd say protective styles. One, they are very light. They are very easy to style. They are friendly to your hairline. So it's one style that I'd say you must know. <laughs> Especially if you are a braider. Because I'm sure at some point your client will come and tell you, I want you to do spring twists. That is for those people who don't know. If you know and you've done them and you feel confident, well and good, um that's a good thing but if you are a beginner and you've never tried or you you might want to learn how to do spring twist then stay tuned this video is very short so make sure you watch and learn within the shortest time or the first um few minutes of this video so uh for this particular style we are using um how do you call it guest girl hair when you're doing guest girl, it's just I think it's a breed that has been we are we are speaking from a Kenyan point of view here. So you you might decide to use any um braid that is closer to guest girl, but in this particular case, uh we are going to use guest girl braid. So you've had there are other braids like Afro bulk, people use uh Ceres. You can use so many braids, but we prefer guest girl because of in this particular case we wanted like you know um more of spring twist than passion twist again guys there is a difference between spring twist and passion twist and i hope we get to do a video that will show you a clear difference and also the braids that are used in each case yes so one thing the first thing is always to part your hair or part your client's hair neatly because by the end of the day the goal is to achieve very clean neat partings very clean neat hairstyle so as you can see you part your hair use your molding gel if you have in this case i think yeah we are using sedoso you can use any other gel of your choice so you want to grab the hair as you can see just um, attach the braid the way you do with the box braid, with the normal box braids. Yes. You can do this in any particular style or any method that you are familiar with. Or if you are not familiar with uh, the uh, a method of attaching, just use the same method that is being used in this video. And then now the issue usually comes at the twisting. You want to twist them anti-clockwise. You don't twist the way you twist the normal braid. I don't know if you understand. But by just looking, you can see the direction in which the braid is being twisted. That is how you achieve the springy kind of look. Because what will happen if you achieve if you twist it the other way around, you will achieve a different style, which for us we call yummy twists. Yes, that is another reason for us to do a video on yummy twist. But it's as simple as that. Just attach the braid like that. Another thing you want to keep in mind is tuck in the air. Not air, hair. Tuck in the hair so that your client's braids will last longer. That is usually the whole point or the whole idea of tucking in the hair so that the braids will not, you know, peep out of the of the the hair will not peep out of the braids yeah like just take your time don't be in a rush make sure the hair is like tucked in properly that will make you achieve a very clean neat finish and also the hair will last longer on the client and guys you can see like the outcome like the way it's coming through already looking good already looking neat another thing is that this particular braid comes in different colors you can choose whichever color you decide 
Pajua clan decides. It comes in 230, 1, maroon, ginger. So many of them, guys. This is color 33. We decided to go with color 33. And so far, the outcome is really good. For this style, yes, I said styling it is easy. But one thing you don't want to do is pull your hair too tight when you're styling it. Because again, if a style is easy to style, if a hairstyle is easy to like, you know, play around with, you, you tend to like maybe over pull it or something like that. So you just need to be gentle. Make sure your scalp is moisturized throughout the the period you're going to have this hair on. And that's it, guys. There is nothing much to what you see on this video. Just attach the hair the way you attach box braids. Twist them anti-clockwise. And there you have it. Spring twist. Looking good. Looking neat. Thank you, guys. If you watch to this um, point, we love you. Thanks for the love. Thank you for always being here to watch these videos if there is anything or what you'd want us to like uh, address or work on please make sure you leave a comment so that we can do a video for you thank you for the subscribers guys i'm so happy that our page is growing our channel is growing very fast and it all thanks to you so if you watch to, up to this point don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Subscribe, guys, so that we also encourage you to make more videos like this for you. Yeah, that is it. Go ahead, try the style on yourself, try the style on your sister. And if you have a way of doing it, uh, rather than what you see here, well and good. There it is. Yes, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. That feeling after your hair is freshly done, you know. I understand. Bye, guys, and thank you for watching.